So first I started off by drawing the shape of the ice lolly onto the sponge or you could use foam if you want to and I just used a pen to do this so basically you just want to draw a rectangle shape but make sure that it's curved at the top like this And also you can make yours whatever size you want. I'm making mine around the same size as the actual ice lolly. And it's okay if it doesn't look perfect. And next we want to start cutting this out. So here's what the shape looks like so far. And I've already finished smoothing off most of it with my scissors. And basically you just want to keep making straight cuts all the way up the squishy like this just really carefully so that way the sides have a slight curve to them if that makes sense and you also want to do the same thing for the other side as well and I also cut off some of the sponge using a craft knife since it was too thick at first and then I just smoothed it off with my scissors so you just want to make it as smooth as possible and then once you get to the top bit again you just want to make curved cuts with your scissors like this and then just make small snips and just smooth it off very carefully so it's quite an easy shape to make and again you want to do that for the other side as well and again it's fine if it doesn't look perfect So like that and then once you've done that we can move on to the next step so now the next step is you want to mark out where you want to put the lolly stick or the popsicle stick and then you just want to make a small slit with your scissors or a craft knife it doesn't have to be too deep and also one thing I forgot to mention is you also want to smooth off the bottom part of the ice lolly as well again just by making small snips with your scissors and also like, smooth out the top bit as well and then what you want to do is you just want to take a lolly stick like this and you do not have to use a real one like me you can make yours out of foam if you want to and then just paint it if you want to and then I just cut off some of it since it was too tall and then you want to make sure that it fits inside like this and just make sure that it looks good and just move these <laughs> so it should look like this I think it's looking really good and we're going to be gluing this in later and now on to the next step so next what I did was I drew two lines going all the way around the squishy just using a pen and again this doesn't have to be perfect so you just want to make sure that it goes all the way around like this and then once you've done that we are ready to start painting it
So next what I did was I mixed red and a little bit of pink puppy paint together and I painted the bottom part of the lolly. So basically it's just a pinkish red colour. And then I painted the middle part white. And then lastly I painted the top part a dark brown. And you want to make sure to paint the whole thing and also the other side as well. And I'm just using these two images here as reference. So now moving on to the next step. Next what I did was I painted on the sprinkles on the top part of the lolly just using yellow, red, dark pink and white puffy paint and I just randomly painted them all over the top part of the squishy and I also did the same thing for the sides as well. And by the way, you do not have to do it this way. If you do have fake sprinkles, you can use those instead. But I didn't have any, so I did it this way. And I know they don't look very thin or much like sprinkles. It's because it's not easy painting very thin lines with puffy paint. But still, I really like how this is turning out so far. So now you just want to let this all dry and then we can move on to the next step. So once it is completely dry, next what you want to do is you want to paint on the sprinkles on the other side, just using the same colours of puffy paint. And then you just want to let that completely dry and as you can see mine's already dry. And then once you've done that, we can move on to the last step. So lastly, what I did was I glued the lolly stick inside the squishy. And I just used my all-purpose glue to do this. And again, you do not have to use a real lolly stick. You can make yours out of foam if you want to. And then once you've done that, your squishy is finished. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. And it's also a little bit slow rising as well. And I really like how the colours turned out. especially like how this colour turned out. I think it looks really similar to the one on the actual Fab Lolly.
and again I know the sprinkles turned out a little bit too thick but that's okay I'm still really happy with this it's probably going to take a while to come back up on here So yep, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always please feel free to request any more squishy tutorials you'd like me to do in the comments below and I really hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching, bye bye!